Hello and welcome to Ancient Medicine for the Modern You. My name is Valencia Exius. I'm a doctor of Oriental Medicine and an acupuncture physician. And uh, my practice is High Point Healing and Wellness located in Lauderdale Lakes, Florida. In today's segment, we will be talking about stress. What is stress? That's a word that we hear a lot. People say, oh my God, I'm under a lot of stress. Some people say, well, I'm not really stressed that much. And a lot of time people ask me, what exactly is stress? And how can Oriental Medicine help me? Basically, stress is the body's natural response to different type of stressors, to danger. If there is, let's say you were in the wild and there is a bear chasing after you. Stress is the body's natural response, what we call the fight or flight response, whether you're going to fight that bear or, or flight. Uh, it's the response to many other things. It can be something emotional, like a trauma that happens or the ending of a relationship. So when stress occur on a short-term basis, it allows the body to adapt and to survive and to deal with specific situations. So it is a natural response. It can really help to get us out of tricky situations. Now, when there is a stressor, a stressor is anything that can cause stress. When there is a stressor, whether it's positive or negative, the body doesn't really know the difference. Whether it's your college graduation or your wedding that you're stressed about, the body doesn't know, so it responds to those events as a, as a stressor and the natural stress response takes over. When that occurs over a long period of time, it affects the body. So in Oriental Medicine, when someone is stressed, we say that it affects the energetic channel that connects to the liver. So we call it the liver channel. So when we're stressed, and when that liver channel is stagnated, a lot of different things can occur in the body. Uh, we might end up having headaches. If it's a woman, um, the symptoms might be PMS, having breast distension and breast tenderness. Um, there are a lot of different things that can come into effect, even symptoms as serious as infertility. So in Chinese medicine, we take stress very seriously and we have an effective method to treat stress and that's acupuncture and also Chinese herbal medicine. And one of the ways that acupuncture works to treat stress is by helping to unblock the stagnation of the energy. So when we are under a lot of stress, it causes the energy to become stagnant. So things are not flowing, things are not moving properly. And when you get the treatment, the energy starts flowing again. So the body is in a state of balance. While we cannot remove the stressor, we can give the body the information that it needs so that it's able to relax so that the body go from being in that state of stress to being in a state of balance and in a state of relaxation. So many times people don't realize some of the serious things that can happen when they're stressed. And um, in the website, I put together some information on the different ways that stress can affect the body. So we have in here on the site that there are four areas that um, that can be affected when you are under stress. You have the cognitive symptoms, there are the emotional symptoms, the physical symptoms, and the behavioral symptoms of stress. So in order to help you to identify whether you are dealing with stress, you can go to the website www.highpointhealing.com and uh, you will get information on those symptoms. So I'll go over some of them really quickly. So under the, cogni cog under the cognitive symptoms of stress, we have things like memory problems, inability to concentrate, poor judgment, seeing only the negative side of things, being 
really pessimistic, being anxious, having racing thoughts, and constant worrying. So in Chinese medicine, when someone worries a lot, we said that it affects the spleen meridian. When the liver channel is stagnant and things are not moving, when that happens over a long period of time, the next meridian that's affected is the spleen. So from a traditional Chinese perspective, the list of cognitive symptoms makes sense. So then we're going to look at the emotional symptoms. Moodiness, irritability, short temper, agitation, inability to relax, feeling overwhelmed, a sense of aloneness or isolation, depression or general unhappiness. All of those symptoms are symptoms that can really affect the flow of the chi or the energy of the liver channel. So in addition to acupuncture and to taking uh, the proper Chinese herbal formula to help with stress, there are other ways to cope with stress. For instance, um, instead of being isolated, people that have no support system tend to deal with stress more poorly than people that have a strong support system. So making sure you have a strong support system, that you have, you have friends and family that you can talk to, that you can rely on, is one of the ways that you can help to reduce your stress. The next category or um, the next category is the physical symptoms. So you have aches, pain, diarrhea or constipation, nausea, dizziness, chest pain, rapid heartbeat, loss of sex drive, and frequent colds. So a lot of time when someone is under a lot of stress, they have those symptoms they come in to me and they don't necessarily attribute those things to stress. And so it's good to be able to identify those symptoms to know that stress can directly affect those parts of the body. So for instance, let's say someone is high stress and they have neck and shoulder pain and neck and shoulder tension. So when they come in to see me, of course, I will work on the symptom which is the pain i will do the acupuncture prescribe the herbs to help to get rid of the pain but in that case the underlying cause is the stress so we would work on balancing the body so that you're better able to deal with the stress the last category is the behavioral symptoms so we have things like eating more or eating less sleeping too much or sleeping too little isolating yourself from others procrastinating or neglecting responsibilities, using alcohol, cigarettes, drugs to re or drugs to relax, and nervous habits such as nail biting or pacing. So as you can see, some of those categories can be very severe. If someone is under stress and they turn um, to maybe consuming more carbohydrate or more sugar, that will affect uh, your weight, that will affect your health. But someone who turns to more serious drugs can be prone to run into trouble with the law and it can really affect your mind. So there can be some very serious consequences to having the stress and not taking the proper, um, the, the proper precautions or, the, or taking the the proper steps to reduce the stress. So I hope this segment helped you to identify the different symptoms that are related to stress and that you know that there is a natural, effective, and safe approach to dealing with stress and to helping your body to relax so that you can go back to enjoying life like you are meant to enjoy life. So if you would like to get in touch with me, if you would like to come in for a free initial consultation or um, to come in for an actual stress relief treatment, you can contact the office. The number is 954-390-0411, 954-390-0411.
And you can also visit us online at www.highpointhealing.com. Thank you for watching and see you at the next segment.